do not look for unanimity of opinion on the fourth generation Audi A4, Index B8, on the web. It simply doesn't exist. Paying tribute to the advantages of the sedan, many complain about its fragility and high cost. Anticipating the review, no doubt, worthy, and in some places even exemplary sedan, it should be noted that the negative reviews about this car are often associated with high expectations. Premium brand, German quality, rich history. However, the front-wheel drive sedan, and station wagon, B8 is still not worth considering as a standard of reliability. Although in terms of finish, comfort, ergonomics and driving characteristics, why not? It began to be produced at the end of 2007. And they continued through restyling in 2011, until 2015. As befits the German, the A4 had a lot of engines. Petrol 1.8 DFSI, from 120 to 170 horsepower, 2.0 DFSI, from 180 to 225 horsepower, 3.0 DFSI, 272 horsepower, and 3.2 FSI, 265 horsepower. Turbo diesels are also widely represented, 2.0 TDI with power from 120 to 190 horsepower, 2.7 TDI, 190 horsepower, and 3.0 TDI, 204, 240 and 245 horses. We have the most widespread 1.8 DFSI and 2.0 DFSI, with which the greatest number of problems are noted. The main one is considered to be increased oil consumption, up to 1.5 liters per 1,000 kilometers. The problem appeared on cars until 2011, already at 30 to 40,000 kilometers. The culprits were the unsuccessful design of the cylinder piston group, which was changed under warranty, and the stuck oil separator valve. There was also a jump on the stretch timing chain on these motors, as evidenced by a difficult start with a characteristic crack. However, this misfortune was typical for cars until 2011 of release. But almost everyone praises the diesel 2.0 DDI, even despite cases of flywheel failure and a clogged particulate filter. We do not yet know anything about systemic problems with six-cylinder engines. But their content is much more expensive. The thin place is considered to be the Astronic Robotic Transmission, read the SG. She was awarded all-wheel drive version 3.0 DDI and 2.0 TFSI. Jerks, bumps during work, and as a result, rarely anyone manages to avoid flashing and replacing mechatronics. Many questions for the Multitronic Variator. They were equipped with all front-wheel drive modifications of the A4. It is not a contraindication to buying a car but only with the condition of low mileage and a transparent operating history. Repair of the variator and replacement of the control unit threaten ruin. The most reliable are considered to be a six-speed mechanics and a Tiptronic automatic, which, however, is available only in combination with all-wheel drive and 3.0 TDI or 3.2 FSI engines. In a word, the later the car is released, the less the risk of running into problems with the transmission. Front hub bearings run 60 to 70,000 km. Their service life is highly dependent on the quality of the roads. About the same amount you cannot follow the anthers of the outer CV joints. But steering rack leakage is not uncommon. And when hitting a hole at speed, she likes to remind herself with a knock. But on the body you definitely won't have problems, unless, of course, someone ruthlessly repaired it in a garage by candlelight. Even paint chips from pebbles remain for a long time just chips and do not bloom. Front optics often work like a vacuum cleaner, there is ventilation there that sucks in debris and even insects. But the foam filter in the ventilation tube removes the problem. For a long time there will be no problems in the cabin. Crickets are a rarity here, and if any is started, then, rather, in the rear shelf or door trim. To call the A4's multi-link suspension problematic would be an exaggeration. Of course, lightweight aluminum, which provides ideal driving performance, is not the best option for our roads, but the chassis is quite capable of surviving even in Ukraine. Levers sometimes take care of more than 100,000 km. However, the lower ball joint will make itself felt with the help of a knock much earlier. On pre-styling machines, the ball joint was changed along with the lever. But then it became possible to change the lower support separately. The service life of shock absorbers largely depends on the driving style and the quality of the roads, but basically they care for their hundred honestly. Although knocking in the cold is a common thing for them. There are also problems with the electrician in the A4, it is full here, but they do not have a systemic and ruinous character. Summing up, it is worth recognizing that you will have to pay in full for the pleasure of driving the A4. Service somehow here is categorically unacceptable. The level of technology is very high and requires only high quality fluids and components. And they are not cheap. The choice of version is up to you, 
but keep in mind that gasoline engines are more capricious than diesel ones, and of the transmissions, a manual gearbox and a Tiptronic automatic transmission are the most durable. Otherwise, there are no serious contraindications. The CVT is considered a good choice for those who travel a lot around the city. It runs very smoothly, and with the 1.8 DFSI engine in sport mode, it's just great. But the control box for it costs over $1,000, plus a couple hundred more for labor. However, the Tiptronic automatic transmission after 200,000 km may also require serious repairs. Moss Lasher and accelerated wear of the timing drive system are not the only problems of gasoline engines. Frequent diagnoses are a pump leak, up to 100,000 km, and accelerated wear of the engine hydraulic cushion, on runs of 50 to 60,000 km. The lack of previous traction in TDI engines will tell you about a clogged particulate filter. In general, there are no problems with the body yet, however, some A4 owners occasionally had to deal with peeling paint on the front fenders, along the very edge. Sore was found on cars produced in 2008 to 2010. So when buying a car of these years, Wings should be given increased attention. Cars from 2008 to 2009 years of production sin with a dimming display over time. Burned out light bulbs are blamed for this. It will not be superfluous to check the operation of the stove motor when buying. After a hundred thousand run, he is naughty. In addition, in cold weather, the keyless access system to the car is buggy.